to election night, and it came down to Cuellar versus Cisneros in the race for Texas 28th Congressional District. Neither Democrat able to secure the nomination, and now they're headed to a runoff election. Nine-term incumbent Henry Cuellar took the lead by about 800 votes, but once again will face immigration attorney Jessica Cisneros at the polls in May. Alicia Barrera is in Laredo with more on what comes next for the candidates. Throughout the night, the eyes of Texas were on the votes for the 28th Congressional District. It's the second election that immigration attorney Jessica Cisneros comes close to unseating her incumbent, Henry Cuellar. I've been in this fight since 2019. During this campaign, neither candidate secured 50% of the votes for the Democratic nomination, as there was a difference of about 800 votes between each. But in a statement released this afternoon, Congressman Cuellar says in part, the 28th Congressional District spoke, and we witnessed our democratic system at work. After winning the most votes and showing the largest amount of support, we will now move to a runoff election on May 24th, and we're confident we will win. Now, it's about a voter outreach strategy and policy. Cuellar, a conservative Democrat who has held the congressional seat for 17 years, prides himself on being able to reach across the aisle in Washington. And Cisneros, a progressive Democrat, says she's capable of building a politically diverse coalition. I think I'd actually be the most independent candidate, especially in this runoff election, to be able to do that because I'm not taking a single dime of corporate PAC money. And really the work begins today for both of these Democratic candidates as they head into runoffs to remind their supporters that they need to get back out there and vote again. That runoff election will be on May 24th. In Laredo, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News. So that's the latest with the Democratic Party in District 28. Last night, the Republican Party for that district had seven candidates. Two of them will also face off in a runoff election. Cassie Garcia and Sandra Witten came out on top. That runoff election will also take place on May 24th.